Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say a blessing. Blessed art thou, donate the new king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to nourish ourselves with the words of Torah. Please don't donate your hand, you sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all your people of Israel. May we in our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and start your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed you, Adonai, the new king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed you, Adonai, give the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to you, may be kind, may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Mark 1. Mark 1, 40 through 45, 9, 14 through 50. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. And a leper came to him, imploring him, and kneeling, said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said, <coughs> "Excuse me." Said to him, "I will. I will be clean." And immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. And Yeshua sh sternly charged him and sent him away at once, and said to him, "See that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priests and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof to them." But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news, so that Yeshua could no longer openly enter the town, enter a town, but was out in desolate places where people were coming to him from every quarter. Mark nine fourteen through fifty. And when they came to the disciples, they saw a great. They saw a great crowd around them, and scribes arguing with them. And immediately all the crowds, when they saw him, were greatly amazed, and ran up to him and greeted him. And he asked them, What are you arguing about with them? And someone from the crowd answered him, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a spirit that makes him mute. Whatever it seizes him, it throws him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. So I asked your <coughs> excuse me, disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O oh, faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him, and when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. Yeshua asked his father, How long has he been? Has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. And it has often cast him into fire and into water to destroy him. But if you can do anything... Have compassion on us and help us. And Yeshua said to him, If you can, all things are possible for one who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Yeshua, when Yeshua saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Yeshua took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. When he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And he said to him, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer. They went on from there and passed through Galilee. And he did not want anyone to know, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days he will rise. But they did not understand the saying and were afraid to ask him. <coughs> and they came to Capernaum. And when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you discussing on the way? And they but they kept silent, for on the way they had argued with one another about who was the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and he said to them, If anyone would be, be first, he must be last of all the servants of all. And he took a child and put him in the midst of them, 
And taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but him who sent me. John said to him, Peter, we saw someone casting out demons in your name. And we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Yeshua said, Do not stop him. For one who does a mighty work in my name will be also soon afterward to speak evil of me. For the one who is not against us is for us. For truly I say to you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Hamashiach will by no means lose his reward. <clears throat> whoever causes one of these little ones to believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were hung around his neck and were thrown into the sea. And if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than with two hands to go to hell, to the unquenchable fire. If your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than with two feet to be thrown into hell. And if your eye cause, causes you to sin, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of Elohim with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into hell. Where the worm, worm does not die and the fire is not quenched, for everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if the salt has lost its saltiness, how will you make it salty again? Have salt in yourselves, and be at peace with one another. Blessed art thou, donate a new king of the universe. Who gave us the Torah of truth to save everlasting life in the midst? Blessed art thou, Adonai. Give us the Torah. Bruket Adonai and Hini Malak Halom. Master Natan Lenu Trey Mat Vaishilom. Natan Betikenu Bruket Adonai Natin Ha Torah. Well, I hope you all have a great night. And apparently they want a newsletter. Okay. A great night and a fantastic tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.